I, I think what Laura was so instrumental in doing with Melissa is, is as she said earlier, in her early years, she hit every milestone. But as she got older, it became evident that um, while we fought for inclusion and we believe fully in inclusion, we also believe that adaptive curriculum is necessary to bring our children along. You know, so they may not be able to hit those same exact academic marks, but if the curriculum is adapted to them, the amount of education and growth that they can achieve is amazing. I remember once, um, and Melissa did learn to read yes. at about the fifth grade level. Mm -hmm. She loved to read. And I'll never forget one day she, she brought home, um, I think it was the novel Frankenstein, mm -hmm. which was assigned to um, her class. That's a difficult book for adults. It's very complex. So um, I got the idea that, wow, these books ought to be adapted so that they could more easily be read by um, youngsters as well as individuals with disabilities. And uh, we, we did publish um, several dozen adapted classics, which went on to sell you know, well over a million copies. So Melissa was an inspiration to me to say, wait a minute, you know, she didn't suggest it specifically, but I noticed that she wanted to understand the story. And she ultimately did. So these kids have a lot to offer us in, in showing how much they can achieve and how, how these, these milestones, um, if they just tweaked a little, sometimes a lot, but often just a little, um, our kids can, can reach heights that nobody ever would have figured uh, at the time she was born. And of course, since she was born, um, you know, th there's been so much more progress. Due to, due to parents like Laura that get in there with the teacher and say, you have to understand, my, my kid, my daughter can really learn, but, but you've got to work to adapt it. And it is, as Laura said, it's a local issue. It's a school issue. The parents willing, or the teachers willing, or the staff willing. And every single school in America needs to be like that. Oh, agreed. I'm sure there's a million people that would agree with that. Now, those, those books that you mentioned being adapted, are they still available? Yes, yes. They're called Classic Starts. Classic Starts. They're, they're published by Sterling Publishing. They're available nationwide. Classic Starts. Okay. You're giving us so many extra reasons to love Barnes & Noble on top of the ones we already have.